the Bennett coach. Obviously, the win is what matters. Give me your impressions, good, bad, indifferent, of what you saw from your team tonight. Uh, you know, I thought we started a little slow, as I said, at halftime. I didn't think we played uh, particularly great early on. And then we got kind of into a really good flow. I thought we were moving the ball really well and and uh, got a lot of people involved. You know, sort of a lot of assisted goals, and I thought we played tough. And the freshmen continued to get better in the midfield, so we're really happy with that. We faced off well, and, and uh, we didn't give up any shots in a quarter, so that's the first time I've been a part of one of those. Yeah, so right. I thought it was – I thought it was really good. I thought we just played all, well all around, but we got to continue to um, maintain a high level of play. It's really tough sometimes you get into our conference schedule and play some of the teams that maybe aren't as talented to lower your level of play. Our goal is to, to maintain and get better with that, especially after us playing pretty well on Wednesday, to continue to grow, and that's what we need to do. Our growth has to continue to increase throughout the year to give us a chance to go where we want to go. Yeah, so we were talking about building good habits, right, yep, and, and, and not playing down to the competition during the broadcast. Absolutely. Um, you mentioned those guys that get in and get those opportunities and, and what it means to the entire team uh, to see some of these guys get a chance. And some of them young guys, some of them guys have been around for a little while. That um, Can you tell us about how important that is for the entirety of the program to see guys get their opportunities? Well, everybody practices, you know, so everybody wants to get in and, and get their five minutes of fame, so to speak, in the games. But I think we got to maintain a little higher level of play when they get in there. So we hold them in a pretty high level when they get in there to do that. But it's great for them to get in there, great to see, for them to see the score some goals. It's good to see Matt Byron get a goal and, and Sowers to score a nice goal. Uh, that's really great. And so we just got to continue to get those guys to improve and the only way they improve is when they get into the games. And so we then need to continue to do that. And uh, so, But it's good to get them in. It makes us happy. Uh, but we got to get ready for uh, a quality hood team on Wednesday. Let me ask you one. I, you know, you see a, a program like Alvernia and mm -hmm. What they're going through, trying to establish something with a new head coach. Yeah. What, what, what do you say when you, you talk to somebody? You know what it is they're up against. I thought they gave you a spirited effort tonight, yeah. and obviously their goalies played yeah. really well really tonight. Well. What, what do you say to a, a, a first-year coach about what he's doing and, and trying to encourage him? Is you want the conference to be better as a whole? Yeah, you know, I, I've been there. You know, we yeah. started out of Bill Julie College here. My first meeting, we only had 17 kids at it, and uh, it wasn't good when you leave the University of Maryland. You come to a program like Bill Julie College, and you have 17 kids. It's a whole new world, and <laughs> But I think you just got to stick to the goal. You know, what is your goal when you have a program like that? Where do you want to go? And continue to work hard, go out and recruit the best you can, build each year. And your goal each year is to get better and better. And then you're going to finally get there to get those guys and you get a few quality wins and you, you build your program. That for us, like a big quality win, we guys, when we beat uh, Cortland yep. in that year, that they're defending national champs, beat them in our spot. That really gave us a chance to bump up and get on the map. And he'll do that as well. It just takes a while to do that and get your kind of players. You need your administration to help you to get through this. And uh, I think he will there. Alverne is a building school. They're doing a lot of things. They've got a new stadium. They're adding sports, and, and he'll get there. It just takes a lot of hard work to get the right kind of kids that you want, you got to fit to go to certain places, and, and that's what it takes, just hard work. You can be as good as you want in Division three as long as you work hard, and I think I tell a lot of people that. You can go out there. There's tons of kids that want to play lacrosse. you got to find them, work hard, and get them, and uh, he'll turn it around. He seems like a really good guy, and he's working hard to, to turn the program around for sure. That's great. All right, Coach, appreciate it. Uh, good luck on the road this week. A couple of tough games. We'll see you back here in uh, 10 days. Appreciate it. It's Coach Paul Cantabene joining us.